Hey guys, we're live at the moment. Bear with us. We are trying Wirecast for the very first time. So I'm going to see if I can transition to Patty's camera. There she is. Hey everybody. Whoo! I'm going to tell you, I'm tired today. We had the farmer's market and it's over at noon and I'm going to tell you, it was, it was beautiful. We had a great guy singing and everything and it was a great, cool, breezy morning and oh, then about 10.30, 11 o'clock, the breeze stopped and the heat came and oh, it just wore me out. But anyway, praise God, we have had wonderful rain this afternoon so it has cooled things off. So we've had uh, kind of, would that be torrential rains, Tommy? Yes. <laughs> just a lot of rain. So. Uh, hopefully it's going to stick around and soak in. But anyway, we're back to uh, feeding our sourdough starter, day five, right, Tommy? Yes. Day five, and we have some action going on. Oh, and if you can hear that, that's... Speaking of action going yeah, on. Yeah, action, there's, uh, I guess the, a puppy got fussed at. Tommy's going to check on the puppy. But you can see, okay, let's see, he said to do it. Like right here, you can see that it's really starting to bubble. There's my little line of liquid, and here's the other stuff right there. This is my my uh, my white uh, flower starter that I'm making. And I guess I could have just used done one, but um, you know, I thought that there may be some people that do white flower, so we can look at the differences anyway. I'm going to uh, go ahead and stir it down. You know, I always like to smell it, and I've kind of I'm smelling a more yeasty smell out of this. And I had talked to y'all about maybe let, we're going to up it to doing a half a cup. I'm I'm pleased with this amount. Um, I I think our goal is going to be to make bread at our on our live show five o'clock Sunday afternoon Central Time, so uh, six Eastern Tommy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start we're going to start off the show by actually making up the sourdough bread. So. Hopefully, and I'll do one, I'll probably, I'm going to do the white in the mixer, in the KitchenAid mixer, and I will do the wheat by hand. And hopefully I can get that done in 15 to 30 minutes and show it to y'all. So, in fact, in the comments, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't mind, or you can send an uh, email if you're watching this later. Um, you know, I do cinnamon bread with the sourdough, I do regular sourdough, I do rolls. If you wouldn't mind, put it in the comments, maybe what you would like to see me make. Uh, breadsticks also is one of the things we do. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to make up the, uh, we're going to mix up the sourdough Sunday evening, and we'll be baking Monday morning. Um, well, we'll be putting it in loaves Monday morning, and whenever the loaves have risen, we'll be baking them. Anyway, okay, now let's go ahead and get this fed. I put my white flour in this just where I didn't have that big old bag lugging it around because I'm done with the market for a few days. I'm going to do my water first fourth of a cup of water. Oh, and by the way, these starters are going on a trip. They're going camping, and I'm going too. So, that's another reason I put my flour in the jar, because it's coming with me, and I'm going to feed it while I'm gone, and we'll just feed a fourth of a cup of water, fourth of a cup of flour, and an eighth of a cup of sugar. So. Two things. Did you tell them no oh. show tomorrow Sunday? Yeah, that's what we won't be having a show uh, Saturday at noon, or you know we're at three o'clock today, or we or, or Sunday. But we will be live s Sunday morning. Um, no, we won't be live. We'll be no, Sunday morning. I want you to feed your starter early in the morning, as soon as you get up. Sunday evening we'll be live and we'll be making up our dough. What about okay. tomorrow? Tomorrow's Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. I said Saturday we're not going to be live. We're not going to be on tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we thought about filming what you do and uploading it just so, so that there'll be a video there. Yeah, we want to have a video for day six. So we're going to go ahead and upload me feeding the starter and everything. It's, but it's, it's the same thing. If you don't catch it or whatever, and I found my little eighth of a cup measure. It's got a little line in there. So anyway, so there's my eighth of a cup of sugar. Um. But anyway, we are going to have a video for day six, and we'll have a video for day seven, just because we're going to make this a video series. But just know that we're going to be adding a fourth of a cup of water, fourth of a cup of flour, and eighth of a cup of sugar. 
The second thing is, uh, and you may have done this while I was checking on the puppy. Puppy's fine, by the way. Uh, when you when you mentioned adding water, something jumped out at oh, me yes. about water that we've been meaning to say every time, and viewers have been faithful to remind us, and we've been unfaithful to forget. We have been faithful, yeah. Yeah, we've been faithful to forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, um, it's best not to use city water. Um, because it is fluorinated a lot of times, um, and that can actually kill your uh, starter. All right, there's my white, and I'm going to put it to the side. Remember, if you outgrow your jar, get another jar. I hope the white's ready. Or split it. Or split it, yeah, if you want to. Um, this is the wheat that we added. We started with a fourth of a cup of water, fourth of a cup of flour, eighth of a cup of sugar, and a teaspoon, uh, fourth of a teaspoon of yeast. And you see the action on this. It's it is more than the white, and I find that whole wheat starters do uh, show action quicker. Plus, uh, this has has had uh, some tame yeast in it. So anyway, it is uh, being very active. So I know it will be ready. If the white's not ready, I guess we can just go another two days. Another thing, Tommy's not going to be around to be able to film. Um, and so that's another reason we wanted to go ahead and uh, get the bread made because he's just not going to be available for me to be filming and uh, it's not really filming because I've got my phone I can do that but he does that where it's wire cast and that other stuff so I couldn't get it I can take the pictures I just couldn't get it where you could see it so anyway let me finish the thought uh, quickly on the water don't use tap water out of a city system it's best to use well water or purified water yeah, that yeah. you purchase or somehow purify. I'm just going to go ahead and do our fourth of a cup of water. Cam's in Australia says, wow, that's grown fast. I'm sure she's talking about the wheat. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. The I'm very corn. pleased with yeah. it, yeah. And I never have switched this to a wide mouth jar, so I'm having to use my hand as a funnel, but it's working, so. <laughs> While you're watching, guys, tell me if, if the video is freezing or jumping or anything like that. Oh, yeah, and if my mouth is, if, my, if you're hearing me the same time my mouth is moving. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, right now, I'm, I'm mainly concerned about how the video looks and is acting because it's the first time to use Wirecast, and I'm seeing that I've got some dropped frames. Oh, yeah, um, I just saw my head move fast. Yeah, so I need to know if that's noticeable or what. Again, a fourth of a cup of water, fourth of a cup of flour, um, uh, eighth of a cup of sugar. Um, now, and I have, this can be fed twice a day because it is so active, um, you know, just watch it. You don't want it to die if you've done the same thing as I have with using your little yeast and everything in it. Um, actually, once you get this amount, you could start feeding it a half a cup. Like if you were gonna make a lot of bread and needed a lot of starter, you could uh, feed it more. I forgot to smell it at the beginning. This one is a lot stronger smelling than the other one. Everybody With says it's all in sync. That's amazing. <laughs> Woo -hoo! It kind of drives me crazy when I watch something and the mouth moves and then the words come later or vice versa. So I'm glad to know it's in sync. Yeah, we've actually got messages. I've gotten messages from people. I hadn't told Patty because I didn't want to bum her out. They weren't ugly, but uh, they weren't any of our regular crew. But uh, just people saying, man, your your videos are hard to watch. You know, it's, oh. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> they weren't ugly. Okay, now here's my uh, my wheat. So we're, it's going along good. And you know, I'm just going to look at it. Um, I may feed it twice a day. I may not. Just kind of uh, kind of gauge it yourself on how how much it's growing and everything. Um, any questions? Um, yeah. Tommy. Yeah. Is uh, let's see. Let me scroll back up. There was a comment I wanted to mention, um, and then a question I saw. Uh, by the way, uh, Miss Teen, hello from northeastern New York, uh, western New York. Cool. Um, we've, got, we've got some new, new Yorkers in the house today. Oh, neat. Um, Ava Kinsey said, uh, started my starter this morning, got ants, have to start over, had muffins on the counter. They didn't even get into them, but it must have been a good starter. 
Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. Yes. And, and, and you know, I have uh, just put out some ant poison in here because it seems like every year it will get ants in this house. And uh, I put out some poison, well, some spray in front of the doors. And I, I really need to do it around the house to try and deter them. But yeah, but that is a good sign. That, that happens. A good sign it was alive, you know. Yeah, yeah, because they passed the muffins by and went straight to the starter. So, yeah. Okay, Bonnie, Bonnie Dixon, our good friend, uh, faithful fan, Bonnie Dixon yes. says, uh, do we do we need bread flour when we make the bread? Aunt Dossie, the lady that I learned sourdough from, she swore by bread flour. Um, I haven't been able to tell a huge difference, but Aunt Dossie, but I'm going to tell you this, I do feel like, especially with your starter and everything, like this starter, I'm just using, I, I buy my flour at Sam's in the 25 pound bags from, um, that I do for the for the farmer's market and it is not as high quality uh, flour as is like gold but metal or Pillsbury something like that so I think you're going to have better success by using that's a better for you flour I mean I'm paying like is it was it six something a bag or seven something a bag for 25 pounds so it's not a high grade flour of course like I said I'm, I'm making this bread for you know a lot of people that really are not into nutrition and 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 you know that are that care that much about it. I hate to say that because I don't want to offend anybody, but you know. Um, so well, anyway. it's still much better, much healthier than what you buy in the store. It because is because you're not, not adding the preservatives right. and all that in it. So okay. Uh, was there any suggestions on what they want to see us? What they want to make together? With the breadsticks or cinnamon bread? Or? Um, yeah, I think that I think you did. now I get that comment because oh, uh, I, I must have been up checking on the puppy. Uh, yeah, when, yeah. when that happened, somebody said cinnamon bread. Okay. I'll scroll back up. Um, cinnamon bread's the one I remember. Orphan lady said cinnamon bread. That's okay. The one, the one cinnamon bread. So that's all we've got okay. that I saw that, that looked like now what I understand to be an answer to your question. One day we'll do a live, we'll announce it ahead of time. Once we get done with the bread video, we'll do a live cinnamon roll video. And because uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all would like to see how to do the cinnamon rolls, I use the sourdough starter with the cinnamon rolls too. So, and it's real good. It's a nice soft cinnamon roll. And I, I almost, I did not sell out today, but I almost always sell out the cinnamon rolls at the farmer's market. Uh, Michelle from Michelle's Crafts and More, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, has been using city water because that's what she has. And she's praying it doesn't kill it. It didn't yeah. have a super yeasty smell today, but could still smell it. So, that's a good sign. Well, yeah, Michelle, uh, listen. Um, it's not a 100% guarantee that it's not going to work. It's just a, a good possibility or a possibility that it wouldn't work. I just wanted you to know ahead of time, if you wanted to maybe get a, a bottle of water for like your next feedings or whatever, that's fine. And, and if, you know, mine died. So, you know, something happened with mine. And so yours is not dead because it's, it's, you know, it's having the yeasty smell a little bit and everything. So that's a good sign that your water is okay to use. And I have also, my friend uh, is on City Water that has a big garden and they killed some of their tomato uh, string beans one year because they watered and they had just put the chlorine or something in the water. And uh, what, she, what she found out, and I don't know if it'll work the same, because I don't know if it makes the chlorine go away, but like if you leave, run your water and leave it out overnight, that uh, it, you can water with it the next day. So I'm, I'm thinking that it would be better. You can always boil it. But boiling, I don't know, would kill the chlorine. But they said leaving it out, that I think that it, 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 evaporates, it evaporates into the air. Maybe so. Okay, so, Bonnie uh, also agrees on cinnamon bread. Uh, okay. Michelle's Crafts and More says anything you make is good to me. <laughs> oh, Cinnamon rolls. Uh, Cindy Bull says she used tap water but did exactly that, left it out all night. Right, right. And it, it, is, is that correct, Cindy, that it, that it makes it evaporate and it makes it okay to use? If you, it'll be a little delayed to get her comment, but I'd like yeah. to, to Let know Let us know, that. Cindy, if you, uh, if, if, you know, if you can confirm that for us. A um, couple of questions while and we're, go ahead. I, one thing I want to clarify is that um, the cinnamon rolls is not made with the, with the bread dough that I do. I make cinnamon bread with that, but the cinnamon rolls is a separate recipe that we use to start with. So that we'll do a separate video on that, but it'll, it'll, yeah, it's good. All right, Tams asked, uh, says, I was wondering if you add anything to your sourdough flavoring wise when mixing dough or only fold into the dough once you're already once you are ready to shape it. 
I, 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 no, um, when I'm at, when I think I'm, I understand your question. Like Sunday afternoon when we make the dough, it's not a sponge, it's the dough. And the dough will be complete. It will rise all night and then we will put it in the loaves. We will add nothing else to it except we will put oil on our hands to shape it. And that's it. We, don't, we won't be adding anything after we've mixed the dough. I've yeah, read so those recipes. I've read, you know, I know what you're talking about. If that, if, if, if I'm understand what you're saying, I've read those recipes where you do add stuff the next day, but this one you do not. Yeah, this this one you just kind of flatten it out and sprinkle the cinnamon stuff on it and roll it up or something. Or is that this? Wait, what are you talking about? Well, I, I don't know. She was talking about adding flavoring, and I assume she's talking about for the cinnamon bread. I could be wrong, Tams. Oh, I was. I didn't think she was talking about the cinnamon bread. Maybe not. I may. But with the cinnamon bread, it's just going to be cinnamon and sugar that we will add to the dough. Um, but when we're shaping it, we flatten, you flatten the dough and sprinkle cinnamon sugar and roll it up jelly roll style and put it in your pan. Just to clarify so, though, you're not adding it in the dough. No, no, that's sprinkled like on top of the dough. I guess that is something added the next day, but it's in the shaping part. Yeah. But I think, I think what Tam, there's recipes, Tommy, where you don't mix everything in the night before, the next morning you mix stuff in, like to make the dough, and I don't do mine that way. She was talking about flavoring if you just do it, fold it into the dough once it's ready to shape. So maybe so. But okay. anyway, okay, uh, Cindy said yes. She can confirm that. that uh, sit in the water, leaving the water yeah, sit it's out. Letting the tap water it sit it out. Very mm -hmm. good, very good. Uh, Bonnie says, would all purpose flour work for making bread? Yes, that's what I'm using right now. That's what this, uh, well, for both, it's uh, all purpose flour. Uh, not self. I guess I should have clarified that. I see. I forget. I don't use self-rising flour at all anymore. Um, but yeah, we're supposed. To, I guess if somebody is using self-rising flour, they're having a very, very active starter yeah. right now because <laughs> you have you already have a rising agent in there. Yeah. So. Let us know anybody if, if you're using <laughs> self-rising flour. Yeah. If you can, if you can get to your computer around the dough. Um, <laughs> uh, Bonnie also says your egg custard recipe is awesome. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank she you, commented Bonnie. on our on the. <laughs> We have an egg custard, gluten-free egg custard mm -hmm. recipe video on our channel, so And that's that Aunt out. Dossie's recipe also. In fact, we've got some of those books that we need to mail out, Tommy. Yep. We sure do. No, those are, those are mailed. Oh, you did them? I did it. Oh, God, Girl, you're good. You're girlfriend, good. <laughs> they gone. Uh, Roy and Faye Cartwright says they're a day behind. They're using einkorn and honey, and so far it smells like wheat flour and honey, a little foamy today. Great. It's starting to work. It's starting to work. That's good. Uh, Steve and Callie Kegley, I think I put too much water or not enough flour and it was too watery. Today when I fed it, I left out the water and put just flour and sugar. Think I can save it. Yes, that was a good job. Yeah, that's what I do. Make sure it's not too thick. You could maybe add a little bit of water if it is too thick, but yeah. Yeah, that was good thinking. I think yeah. the key is if it's not smelling bad, if it's not foul, then right. it may can still be saved. Right. Uh, let's and see. who was that that just said that? That was Steve and Steve. Callie. Okay, Kegley. yeah, Steve and Callie. Yeah, um, y'all could, you, can, you know, remember you can always add a teeny bit of yeast to that too to kind of give it a little oomph if you feel like it may have, it, when it's completely dead, it's going to smell bad, you know. Yeah. You can always, you know, add some yeast to it and stuff like that to get it going again. All right, well, if there's no more pressing questions, we're going to try to end this as uh, quickly as we can because we got stuff to do to get out of here um, to go on a little camping trip. And so just a reminder, we will not be live tomorrow. We will post a video from inside the camper, <laughs> a little short video uh, showing her. And it's her... going to be the same thing. You know, that we won't be doing the questions and answers, but it's going to be the same thing feed. And I'm going to bring my flour. I've got my little stuff ready to go. And uh, I guess, I, I wonder if I need to bring water. I guess I do. I don't know what kind of water the campgrounds are. Well, we were going to bring water. some to, uh, to drink, drink anyway. So. So. But anyway, uh, um, remember that we'll try and send out, put out some reminders. Remember at the start of the show, um, in fact, Tommy, um, you've got the recipe somewhere on there for the sourdough to make the three loaves. Um, yeah, we on need the sourdough to, bread. Where bowl. can we post that where they'll see it, where they'll make sure they have all the ingredients? 
I can put it in the description of this video once it uh, once it stops. Okay. In fact, I, what I really need to do is go back to all of them and put put it in the description of each one. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. So y'all go over the ingredients of the of what we're going to be using. Now I want to tell you this. I know oil. Go get me my blue binder right there, please. I'm gonna look at it. Oil is one of the ingredients. Uh, vegetable oil, or whatever. I will be either using coconut oil, uh, lard, or butter. So it just has to have some oil. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> so, um, you know, you can use whatever you want. Um, I've never done the butter in it, but a lot of the other bread that I make has butter, and uh, it works fine. If you want to use uh, honey instead of the sugar, that's fine too. You're just going to have to add a little more flour in, um, so that's fine. Um, so sugar, salt, water, starter, yeast, oil, and flour. Now, you don't have to have yeast because we're doing this the old-fashioned way with, with natural yeast. So, anyway, but Tommy's going to put the recipe where you can go over and make sure you have all the ingredients that you, that you need. So, yep. anyway, but... Uh, Thanks, everybody. Yes, to, thank uh, you. And lots of great comments. Everybody's, yes. everybody's thanking you, Patty. And she's right. pretty awesome. She's a keeper. <laughs> I think I'll keep her around. Uh, you better. And uh, <laughs> folks saying they're going to miss us. And uh, but So, remember, no live tomorrow. Yeah. But we will go live, do we know what time, Sunday morning or whenever? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. My bad. At the first part of our normal Sunday evening show at 5 p.m. Central. Central. yeah. Now, remember, feed Saturday, feed early Sunday. That's what I was thinking. Early, about early Sunday, Sunday morning, feed, because by 5, we're going to start mixing up our sourdough. So, we want it to be good and active. So... Yeah. All right. All right, y'all have a great day. We're signing off. We're heading to the woods. To the woods. Bye. Have a great day.